There's something called performance anxiety. Mm -hmm. Tell us what that really is. Now, is performance anxiety the butterflies you have before you have to go out and perform, whether it's sports, go on stage, speak in front of the public? Is that what performance anxiety is from your perspective, or are there other aspects of it? And how do you work with your clients on it? Yeah. Um, it's, it's on a range. So some may have butterflies. We need a certain amount of anxiety to perform well. It's good to have those. It means you're still passionate about it, right? Yeah. It shows excitement. Right. That's one of the tools. I'm excited. Telling ourselves, I am excited versus I am nervous or I am anxious because our brain is listening to us and then that just exacerbates the feeling that we're having and then we get in this loop. So in order to combat that loop, for example, we may say, I am excited. So the um, mental game plans that I usually work with people to do, that can also intercede that. When it, there's a problem, it's the fight, flight, or freeze response typically. Um, I think we've all seen people who have just like kind of sat there and just like frozen or they're shaking or sweating. Um, sometimes they just don't perform well, you know, like performing well in practice, but getting on stage or, you know, getting on the track or in the pool. And next thing they know, they're looking at their times and they're like, what, what happened? I don't, and then they're like, I don't know what happened. And that's, that's a pretty common thing. Now they may not feel anxious, right? But their body could be in an anxiety mode yeah. chemically. Right. And so they're needing to f figure out a way to physiologically balance. And that's where our mind and our body connection is so important. And we use our energy to bring those two together, which is our intention.